blessings and welcome to our sixth session of Mary Beth Davis Be a Bridge. Be a bridge, a bridge of healing, a bridge of love, but keep your bridge in good repair so all feel safe in crossing there. Just in review, we covered the poem slash song that was given to me back in 1991. How to support our bridge may get a place where people want to cross and the heart tools that are needed for us to maintain that bridge and how to express the love that comes across that bridge to each and every person that comes there. How to live our own divine design and to let that shine and to let that blessing flow and bless and shower all that we touch. And I thought I would wear these cute little glasses to start today that my little heart rose colored glasses because we do, the reminder is that we stay in our blessed sacred heart at all times. And so I'm gonna take them off because I might actually need my real glasses during this presentation. So I was inspired to write this song from a uh, movement called Access Consciousness. And in Access Consciousness, the thing is to live in the question. How do we keep the universe open and not just give it statements and affirmations at all the time, but ask the questions and allow the new stuff, stuff that we have no idea where it comes from, um, from the universe, how does that come in? And so in the question, staying in the question. So the other person that keeps me in the question is another one of my mentors, Dr. Leland Kaiser, who says, always preface everything you say with I wonder, then make the statement. And how do I be this being of light that I am? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. And I actually jump on my trampoline or my rebounder every morning and I jump my questions and I allow the universe to just pour in the answers to me in whatever way they come and in whatever form. And plus, it's a lot of fun. It brings me lots of joy. So how do I recognize this, oh, this divine design in each person that I meet? Staying open to that which I am, that light, that love, that sacred spark of the creator. And as I stay open to that, I recognize it in each of the other people that I meet. And then after that, once we recognize it in ourselves, we see it in other people, we can celebrate it as the we. So the, the lyrics to this song are as, what if me being me is what the world needs? What if you being you is what the world needs? Joy, joy, love, love. What if we being we is what the world needs? And how does that work? So what are our options in this world today that we look at the news? Uh, what we see on the news isn't necessarily very encouraging. So with all of this going on, how do we live this principle? How do we live in that experience? How do we live in the wonder? I wonder. So keep that question. Keep the question Keeping the question keeps the heart open as well to the possibilities and who knows what they will be. I am astounded every day about the things that pour into me. Now we recognize and honor and enjoy that divine design, that spark, that light within each other. How much fun is that? We become the world of we, we elevate, we unleash joy and true wealth. That is our true wealth. We subdue or let go of our ego and allow the universe to just arrange the day. How will that happen? I don't know each day when I ask. I don't know what the answer is going to be. And I don't know before words come out of my mouth or 
something that I walk by just invites itself into my presence for me to read. I never know or walking down the street, you know, who am I engaged with? Some of the questions I ask at the end on my trampoline is, where do I go? What do I do? What do I say and to whom or what? And with whom or what do I have a divine appointment? Oof, that puts some excitement in your day. It's really fun. So a song that my friend uh, Jeff shared with me is, these are just the lyrics. I have joy, unspeakable joy and full of glory. I am joy, unspeakable joy, and I am full of glory. The Hindis speak of the bliss state. And as we spoke about in one of the sessions, Thomas Merton, uh, the monk Thomas Merton, when he was walking downtown in Louisville, Kentucky, had a vision. And when he opened his eyes, all he saw were these lights flashing, these beings of light walking around, realizing that's what we really are. That's what we really are. And so we remember our song that we played when we were a little kids, or we sang, and sometimes we still sing it in Bible school. It's, I got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. So how do we save, redeem, transform our world one heart at a time? How do we do that? One choice is by not reacting to any of the things that get on our last nerve or even irritate us a little bit, whether it's a person in the line at the grocery store, our spouse, the person we live with, our children, our pet, a person on the TV that gets us a little riled up. When we decide not to react, we are broadcasting love. We are broadcasting that spark, that light of the Creator. And when we do that, it changes the energy of our world. We'll talk a little bit more about that. So what we want to do is be non-reactive. Kabbalists have talked about this for years and years. Jesus talked about this. It's talked about in every spiritual tradition. So I've spoken before about my perpetual New Year's resolution, which is judge nothing, bless everything that came to me over 10 years ago. And every year when January comes around, it's time to choose another New Year's resolution. I may have others, but that one remains my perpetual New Year's resolution. Judge nothing, bless everything. We've all heard the saying over the years, be the change you wish to see in the world. We usually attribute that to Mahatma Gandhi, and he did in fact address that, but there are many, many people, and I'm gonna just address a couple of them. Many people have said the same thing over and over the centuries. Another of those um, is a woman named Arlene Lawrence. In 1974, she started a project called The Love Project. It came out of her dissatisfaction with teaching in public schools and realizing it was herself that had to change. Some of those sayings from her are, be the change you wish to see in the world. Be the change you want to see happen. We must be the change we wish to see in the world. And then going back to Gandhi, in a little more expanded um, saying of what he actually shared, we but are mirrors in the world. If we could change ourselves, the tendencies in the world would also change. As a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change as we change. As a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change towards him. This is the divine mystery supreme. So basically, it all comes back to me. It's my choice what happens to the world. I must be 
the change. I must be the love. I must be my unique divine design and recognize that in everyone that I meet and then celebrate that. That is really who we all are, is this beautiful, unique uh, array, tapestry, symphony, puzzle, million beautiful pieces put together, but creating a oneness, a wholeness. So what does it take to shift our world? I have written a song that I will um, record at some time. It's called Shift Happens. And shift happens when we open to the light, that light in ourselves, that light in others, the light that is the oneness that we are. There is a um, term in physics called critical mass and What that is talking about is in an atom, the electron often will jump rings. So when an an electron jumps rings within an atom, it doesn't like, here's a little move, a little move, a little move, a little move. No, the energy builds and builds and builds and then whoomp, it's called the critical mass. And at that point of energy, that electron jumps rings which produces a lot of power. Well, duh, the same thing can happen for us. So how do we shift everyone? How do we get to the tipping point, the percolation point, the critical mass where the electron jumps for us in our world? It is one person at a time that we flip it. We shift this planet to a whole new reality. It's so exciting. There are 7.5 billion, approximately, people in the world. It takes only 1% of the people to do the shift. Do you realize how important you are? Whoosh! One more, one more, one more, and we shift and we flip the planet, our lives, our whole world, the whole universe, basically, and all of creation at the same time. So truly, me being me is what the world needs. You being you is what the world needs. We being we is what the world needs. The world of we, la 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 la, hallelujah. So when we get discouraged, and when we think it's just overwhelming, and we've watched too much news, or whatever's happening in our own personal lives, we go back to maybe some advice we've heard in the past. And I go back to this saying that came to me from a nondescript woman in St. Mary's Catholic Church in 1993, when she hollered back at me when I was talking about my children and things that were going on, and that I didn't know what to do next. And she shouted back through the church, honey, do your best and bless the rest. And that's what we do, we do our best and bless the rest. The only way to make sense of change is to plunge into it, move with it, and join the dance. Which is a quote from Alan Watts. And so, when we are in that, in that energy, the words of 1 Corinthians 13 are kind of like a no-brainer, a duh. And I want to read that to you. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous, conceited, proud, or boastful. It is not arrogant, selfish, irritable, or rude. Love does not keep a record of wrongs. Love is not happy with evil, but is happy with the truth. Love never gives up, and its faith hope and patience never fail. Love is eternal. God is love. I want to talk about a couple of people. My shirt here says love anyway. Now you'll remember that Mother Teresa of Calcutta is is, um, one of the people who use this saying, but others have. And there is a program called Preemptive Love, 
And the founder of that program, whose name is Jeremy Courtney, wrote a book called Love Anyway, which is based on Mother Teresa's saying. And that is what is on my shirt today. That no matter what's going on, we just have to choose to love anyway. We can choose. It's our choice. We make the decision to love anyway. I would highly recommend going to the website Preemptive Love preemptive love are going to Amazon and getting the audible of this book or the book and listening to this incredible story and if these people in the Middle East can live this principle so can we and then I have this book on joy which is again we must realize that the fruit of living this way is true joy hopping skipping jumping running joy And that when we feel this joy, we share it with others and have fun with it. And then I'm going to end with a poem by, his name is Mershad, sorry, Samuel Lewis. And he is the founder of Dances of Universal Peace. And I think that with Critical Mass, this is a place where we find ourselves today, but it's an exciting place. So here goes. I feel like a gardener who planted a bunch of seeds and nothing came up. And again, the next year he planted a bunch more seeds and nothing came up. And again in the next year and more seeds with the same result and so on and on and on. And then this year he planted a bunch of seeds. Not only did they all come up, But all the seeds from the previous year came up. And all the seeds from the year before came up. And so on and on. So I've just been frantically running around trying to harvest all the plants until God came to me and said, Don't worry. Harvest what you can and leave the rest to me. A deep surrender to pure love. So now enjoy the song. If me being me is what the world needs. What if you being you is what the world needs. The world of we. La 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 la. Hallelujah. What if me being me is what the world needs? What if me being me is what the world needs? What if me being me is what the world needs? What if me being me is what the world needs? What if you being you is what the world needs? What if you being you is what the world needs? What if you being you is what the world needs? What if you being you is what the world needs? Joy, 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 joy is what the world needs. Love, 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 love is what the world needs. What if we being we is what the world needs? What if we being we is what the world needs? What if we being we is what the world needs? What if we being we is what the world needs? Joy, 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 joy is what the world needs. Love, 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 love is what the world needs. What if me being me? What if you being you? What if we being we is what the world needs? The 